Hey guys, I'm doing the top 10 summer products tag. Um, I'm sorry if you hear buzzing going off. It's just my phone having a conversation with my friend. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. Pretty much the first thing for summer is a primer, a face primer. So it's Fix and Perfect from Rebel. It's orange, like no joke. There's stuff on the cap. It's orange. It smells yummy. And it's cheap. Um, it, I, for me, it works really well. Um, I don't know about other people. Because the only person I know that also has this is my friend. I need to ask her about that. <laughs> um, next thing. Um, that's pretty much the only thing you have for, like, before you put your makeup on. I always wear, like, um, a little bit of concealer and then powder. Like, all the time. So, yeah. Um, next thing would be blush. And I have, like, a lot. <laughs> Actually, it's only three. And then a bronzer. And something that I learned a long time ago. So the first one is e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Powder. You can't tell, but it's actually very shimmery. And there's like gold flakes in it. Um, you can't tell because my webcam up. But I like the blush. You don't need a lot of it. The bronzer, mm, you know, as a mirror, which is, you know, good. Um, next thing is this Estee Lauder um, Shimmer Powder in Old Pearl. It's um, pinky sandy with just a little bit of shimmer. Very pretty. And then Max Well Dressed um, Blush. I don't really wear this a lot. Um, only like if I'm just going out. Because Max products tend to make me break out because I have really sensitive skin. Um, but if you guys know a dupe for this, that's not like expensive um let me know and then bronzer as the blush just falls good job um bronzer it's not really a bronzer it's like has just a little bit of shimmer is some hard candy it's tiki the baked bronzer that term loosely um and then i have this eyeshadow it's a pink corally i just used um, an angled bronzer brush, blush, whatever you want to call it, from e.l.f. And put some on my cheeks. Um, I learned that a long time ago because I didn't um, blush back in the day. So, yeah. Um, next, for eyes, um, I have this um, quad that I made myself. I need to throw that away. From e.l.f. as a brown which is right there, a sage which is the green, a white and a pink, and the case is a dollar and all the eyeshadows are a dollar. So those are very, you know, colors you can wear anytime. Um, I stay away from the green for the summer, unless you know you want to. Next is CoverGirl Cafe LA Trio, very well used, especially the white. Um, very natural if you just want a little bit on. My favorite crease color, that's not it. Um, but this is block type for MAC. Very, very well used. Love this as a base. And then my favorite, um, crease color is Wedge, also for MAC. I usually would wear this, like, all the time, no matter what season. Um, we'll go on to lips. I have one, four lip products. The first is my MAC Viva Glam 2. I don't know, it's not a dot, but it's a nude color. Um, I got this when I was in San Francisco back in August. Um, I was going to get like Myth or another nude color, but I was talking to this because it looked like wipe me out. The next thing is my favorite, new favorite Rimmel lipstick. It's Air Fairy. Pinky Nude also. My product smells so good. Oh yeah. Um, and then I usually put this on mostly everything. It's Max Moonstone Lip Gilly. Very pretty. And then 
It's my all-time favorite lip gloss. They don't make these anymore. It's the Maybelline Shiny Licious lip gloss. This was in Coral Punch. Very corally. Very, very. Um, I absolutely adore that. And then mascara. It's, I guess it's waterproof because it only comes out in certain types of water. This is the L'Oreal Paris Double Extend Mascara. You got your primer, which is the white end, and then your mascara. And I curled the brush, so it's easier to put on. Mm, miscellaneous or other products um, that I would only wear probably at night or just whatever. This is China Doll Concealer from Napoleon Purdy's. It's a concealer, but I, I only use it as a eye primer because this is not my color at all. Um, but I had it as a free gift and I bought some of their products at Ulta. Um, next thing is this um, <laughs> mysterious eyeliner. It's in Cafe, which is a brown. This is what it looks like. It has a gold cap. That's gray and then the color. I have no idea where it's from. If someone knows, please let me know. Because that's all I have left of it is like that whole thing. We got this from my cousin. Um, I think it was Senior Ball. It was two years ago. The next thing, and another miscellaneous thing I found, um, is Kat Von D from Sephora um, Tattoo Concealer in Porcelain. It just it's like concealer but for tattoos. Um it works well but you really need a clean brush or a sponge to put it on because I used it with what I thought was a clean sponge and it turned out orange on me. Yeah, I'll prime it first. If you ever had experienced this, def let me know. And then my other two miscellaneous products is one's for hair, it's Aussie Catch the Wave Mousse and Leave in Conditioner waves, you know, you get your waves, you work through damp hair for stunning style so it's a little in the back um, it's a flexible hold which, it, for me it wasn't crunchy because I put it in at night which was a bad idea because I woke up with like an afro <laughs> which was always fun the next thing is my um, eye drops, that's the Optifree Free Express Rewinding Drops this is economy size, it's like humongous but I wear contacts, so I need eye drops, especially in the summer for allergies. Mm, I think that's it. Oh. And I have my blending sponges. There's only one in here, because the other one's out. Clean one. Looks like an egg. Oh, I got these, because I don't want heavy, you know, makeup, so I use these. And that is my summer products. No number. Um, tag thing. Yeah. Um, Till next tag or favorite video. Bye, guys.